Hi there. Uh, you have purchased the Cauldron's Magical Infusion Kit uh, for gin, which means that you're going to spend the next couple of minutes watching me telling you how to infuse your gin. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to everything you have in the kit here. We also have a couple of coffee filters, some labels and some uh, funnels as well in there for you to use. But you've got your beautiful engraved bottle here and our four key botanicals for making this. Now for this drink, you're actually going to only need one jar of botanicals and it's this one right here. So in here, we've got some dehydrated basil and some black peppercorns. All right, so for now, we can clear the rest of these away. I'm using some tweezers here. You can just do this with your fingers. It might be easier. Just pop them all in the bottle there. Now you should have enough for one infusion in your jar. And you've also got some uh, black peppercorns at the bottom there, so make sure that they're in there as well. Wonderful. Now that you've got everything in there, all you need to do is grab yourself a funnel and start infusing with your gin. Um, I would advise quite a smooth tasting London dry gin. You don't want anything that's flavored because you're gonna infuse it with flavors of your own. Once you've got your gin in there, take the funnel away, cork it up again, give it a very quick shake. And then you're going to need to leave this somewhere in your house at room temperature, uh, out of direct sunlight for about 48 hours. Okay, so after about 48 hours, you're going to have a lovely infused gin here and basically what we're going to do is make ourselves delicious classic gin and tonic infused with basil and black pepper so you're going to take about 50 mils of that into your jigger straight into your glass cook this leave it for a, a sunny day fill your glass up with some ice and then add your tonic Finally, with all good gin and tonics, finish with a squeeze of lime. Grab yourself a couple of fresh basil leaves, give it a clap. Uh, and when you clap it like that, you're gonna wake up the leaves. So you fold them into a little cone and put them in there. That way when you're drinking, you get this lovely basil fragrance as you go. And that is our basil and black pepper gin and tonic.